I mean, I'm thanking you. I mean, we could, I could just applaud for the rest of this interview. Uh. Hi, Terry. How Hi, Neil. Doing? Twitter friend. Twitter friend, yes. How are you? I am very well, thank you very much. How are you doing? How does it feel I'm... to be out here talking about it uh, now? Finally, finally. I finished this thing in the summer, so it's it's amazing to finally, for people to be seeing it. And, I mean, critics are starting to get their reactions out now. It's all feeling very exciting. It's all feeling very positive. I hope so. I hope so. I, hope so. I don't know yet. Uh, <laughs> Friday's the embargo lift, so we'll see. Take me back to the beginning. What sparked the idea to go so big with season three? Well, uh, excellent question. Uh, the the third season was left to me and they said, what do you want to do? <laughs> and uh, it, why not go big? Why not do everything I've ever wanted to do with Star Trek? Uh, so I did. <laughs> uh, I wanted to bring back the, uh, the next generation crew. I, I, I wanted to. I thought they deserved the send off that the original series uh, uh, characters got in Undiscovered Country, and um, this could be that chance to do that. Um, at the same time, explore what it means for the last generation to meet the next. Um, and where they are now and 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 to tell that final story in, in a really emotional way it felt like such a rich opportunity for for great drama and a, a really great final story um so i just went hard at it and tried my best and uh here we are I mean, you really you really did and i mean so i i like many people and i'm sure you will hear this many times today i grew up on the next generation this is my my I, track I, mine as well and there's just there's something so exciting about seeing them all together. But that aside, I mean, it feels so much more rewarding that it's earned in the story as well. We're not just literally plunking these people in. How I don't even know the words to ask the question. How on earth in the writer's room did you all piece that together in such a way that it, it just works so well? The 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 main arc of the story was an idea I had in my head for a, for a while. Um, for It was almost as if I could, if there were a graphic novel or a Star Trek movie in my head that if you had one chance to do. But then given the opportunity to have 10 episodes to draw it out is so much better because then every character can truly get their due. Um, and there are opportunities to explore things that you would never be able to in just uh, a, a smaller window of a of, of thing. But it was quite an intense uh, writer's room. In fact, we had uh, less time than than normal. So, um, um, but I brought in um, some wonderful colleagues of mine that I worked on with my last show, 12 Monkeys, um, who we have quite a bit of a shorthand with and some um, some brilliant new writers as, as well. And I was very lucky we, we, uh, we were able to uh, craft uh this to an inch of its life uh and uh and work closely with these actors um so that it felt authentic i didn't want these these actors to feel like they weren't doing anything that their characters wouldn't do they know their characters better than yeah. we oh, absolutely yeah so um so that was that was the thing but there was a beginning and a middle and an end that was very clear to me from the beginning and having so I've seen six episodes so far. I don't know how it ends yet. I'm on the edge of my seat, but I can't talk to you about it without touching on bringing in Stephen Barton because from the outset there is so much score in this season. Yes, yes more so yes. I think than either of the previous seasons. Yes, we've got classic themes, first contact theme. Thank you so much for bringing. You're that welcome. Back. I like the um, way you're, the thing. I love this question. Thank you. It, I'm I thanking mean, you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm thanking you. I mean, we could, I could just applaud for the rest of this interview. Uh, um, I'm going to guess. I know all the answers to this already, but was that something you wanted to do with this yes. season? Really, so, put that music uh, and that soundscape. So early on, right away, uh, I was talking about the score even before we. I typed fade in a, on a script. <laughs> Steven uh, is one a longtime collaborator. I worked with on Twelve Monkeys, and I brought him in and I said, "Let's ask ourselves, what would Jerry Goldsmith do? What would James Horner do?" Uh, what would Cliff Eidelman do? What would Dennis McCarthy do? What would uh, uh, any of these incredible cinematic composers of Star Trek do? Let's feel like we're back in that universe again. Let's do it appropriate. Let's not hammer it over the head. 
But at the same time, he wrote this incredible theme for the Titan, which plays throughout the season, which has its own beautiful melody, this incredible family theme that he, that, that he, at the end of episode four plays um, prominently. Uh, And it it was a lot of, a lot of work. I literally got hit, parked his office right next to mine (laughs) so that I could walk out of editing sessions, come listen to the music, come back and forth. It's not traditional. It's very difficult to do. And it was a lot of strain on on, on poor Stephen. And we brought in another composer, Frederick uh, Weedman, uh, to help out in the back with him. Uh, to co- But uh, music's really important to me in that process. So hearing you say that is really gratifying because I think it's it's part of Star Trek. Star it Trek is. is a space opera. Yeah, absolutely. 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 Well, I could talk to you until the end of the day about this i could probably well, talk to you, you can find me on twitter just drop into my dms so i'll tell we you will absolutely there are things <laughs> that i can't wait to pick up with you about this season when we're able to okay uh, best of luck with the season being thank out there. you i'm really glad you're enjoying it man enjoy the premiere tomorrow i wish i was not in london right now and i could be there with you but uh-huh. best of thanks very much Thanks for watching super friends if you enjoyed this video then make sure to hit the subscribe button just down below and hit the bell so that you can get notified whenever we release brand new videos in fact there's two more waiting for you to watch right here below so what are you waiting for why not click play